Gordon Darcy told our class that there are seven different species of swan in the world. Three are living in Ireland, the whooper, the mute and the buick. The whooper comes from Iceland. It flies at an altitude of 28,000 feet, which is the height of Mount Everest, and travels 500 miles to get to Ireland each winter. The buick comes from Siberia, every winter when it is too cold to live there. They then fly back to Siberia for the mating season. The mute is originally from Eastern Europe. It was brought to Ireland 800 years ago by the Norwegians. At first they used it for food. They also put them in fountains to make gardens look more picturesque. In the end they escaped to rivers, lakes and canals. Both the Buicks and the Whooper have yellow and black beaks, but the Whooper's neck is longer and curved. The mute's neck is also curved, but its beak is black and orange. We are studying the mute swan because it lives and nests on the carb close to our school. The swan makes its nest from reeds, twigs and plants debris and normally uses the same nest each year. The female swan is called a pen. She normally lays a clutch of three to eight eggs in April. However, we observed a nest on the Eglinton Canal this year having a clutch of 11 eggs. <laughs> the eggs are greenish white in colour and are laid at two day intervals. The incubation period is normally 35 to 41 days. During this period of time, the pen keeps the eggs warm while the male hunts for food. The male is called a cob. He is larger and heavier than the pen. The fleshy knob on the top of its beak is also more prominent on the cob. During high tide, the pen struggle to protect their eggs from the rising waters. Sadly, she lost one egg this year. Occasionally, the cob lay on the eggs to give the pen a well-earned break. On May 27th, after 40 days of incubation, the first baby Sigmund was born. This was all the more special, as the pen had lost all of her eggs last year to high tide waters. Two hours later, the second chick was born. As we waited for the remaining two eggs to hatch, we could see the two signets growing stronger by the minute. All the time they were being coaxed towards the water by the pen. After two days, the cob brought his two signets on their maiden voyage down the canal. However, it seemed Penn had lost hope for the two remaining eggs. We feared they had succumbed to the cold water of the previous high tide. Signets can swim after a few days, but take up to six months to learn to fly. It takes them two to two years to get their white adult feathers. These signets will not mate and breed until they are three or four years old. Sadly, the remaining eggs never hatched. Meanwhile, down by the cathedral, the other pair of mute swans had a good Irish family of 11 signets. 
The parents strongly protect their cygnets over the first few months, but will drive them away before next year's breeding season. Many cygnets die in the first 12 months due to flying accidents. Later on in the year, the cygnets will join the flock of swans down in the clara. There, they will form a bond with a mate over the next two years and will look for a suitable territory which they will return to each year to breed. Most mute swans only survive for five to six years, but some have been known to live for 25.